Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and today we're going to talk about how Respawn in Season 11 accidentally nerfed aim assist for controller players, how they fixed it, but why it's still coming very shortly because things like that don't happen by accident. Also, I had to give out 8,400 Apex coins. If you see your comment here at the bottom, that means you won. Message me in the Discord link, and when we hit 85,000 subscribers, we'll give out 8,500 Apex coins. All you got to do, like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Now, let's talk about this aim assist issue. So yesterday when Season 11 launched a few players noticed when they got into games that their aim wasn't snapping to targets as it usually does at least in console lobbies on controller and players went into the firing range to compare side by side the aim assist values on a pc controller versus a console controller and what they found was that they were exactly the same so aim assist had indeed been nerfed but there was a problem because nothing was in the patch notes and respawn themselves when replying to that thread seemed to have no idea that aim assist had been nerfed whatsoever they then did release a tweet yesterday saying that it was accidentally nerfed down to PC controller levels, but it had been since reverted back to its normal strength. And for those unaware, iLoot Games actually broke down aim assist a while ago and how it works on console versus PC. When you're on console with a controller, you have an aim assist set to 0.6 strength. When you play on PC with a controller, it is set to 0.4. Also, PC players, if they play with mouse and keyboard, don't get aim assist at all. Now, it makes sense why PC controller players have lowered aim assist values, and that's because they are playing in lobbies against mouse and keyboard who do not have that advantage, and they also get 120 frames per second. It doesn't make a ton of sense for console players to have that unless they're doing cross-platform play against PC players. And since the introduction of cross-platform play, there has been a huge debate between the PC lobbies and the console lobbies about whether or not aim assist is too strong. Is it aimbot? Is it fair that PC have all these movement texts such as the tap strafe which was said to have been removed but then they went back on it and now they're still looking at mobility tech and seeing if it actually fits into the game. Once Respawn announced that tap strafing would be removed from the game to allow a competitive playing field, PC players demanded that console players also have their aim assist nerfed, which Respawn did say they were going to look into and see if they could do that in the future. And while nerfing aim assist very well could have been an accident by Respawn, it seems like it could also have been a situation where they wanted to test it out on console players at the start of a new season and see if anyone would really notice the difference or have any complaints. But instead of removing tap strafing, which is a really cool movement technique innovated by PC players, or nerfing aim assist for console players who sometimes rely on it in their own lobbies, what should really happen is for players to be able to opt out of the cross-platform system. This would be great for the long-term health of the game as it would allow PC players to continue to evolve the movement tech found within Apex, along with allowing console players who can only aim with their thumbs instead of their entire arm, a competitive balance and fairness in their own lobbies without either of the two clashing unless they choose to do so, at which point you can no longer complain. But if Respawn decides that they aren't going to make it so that you can opt out of cross-platform, well then everything just continues to get nerfed and taken away from the players, in which case no one wins. But let me know down in the comments below, do you guys think that Respawn should remove the tap strafing? Do you think that aim assist should be nerfed? Or do you think that you should just be able to opt out of cross-platform play? And until next time, Legends keep slaying in the Outlands. I'll see you out there.